gonna need any help. It's not gonna need any help, he says. Okay, I'm with me. Okay, let's go. Not, let's not get so close this time. Okay, now let's use the uh, the rope to get down. That would probably be fine, right? Okay, good. I thought he just like threw it on the ground. It's like, well, now what do I do? Perfect. Got points for that. Um, there's some glowing over here. Do you think there's something on this side? No. Well, I guess we'll take the obvious way. There's a crack in this rock too, I noticed. Uh, pocket cavern. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Ancient doors. Well, let's do it. Hello? A deep echoing voice. Ooh. None shall enter, none shall pass, but he who speaks the name of power. Speak now the name of power! Okay. Iblis, maybe? Is that right? Or am I gonna die? Oh dear, collapsing rocks. I don't think that was good. Well, great. I am trapped here forever. I can't move. Speak now the name of power. Um. Uh. Oh, fuck. Is it one S? Oh, no. This is terrible. Um. Paul Dugan. I am the man of power. Oh, no, I wasn't right at all either. Um. Who was the name of powers? Um. Ah, uh, was it like Suleiman or something? Or yeah, the sound of thunder. Okay, I don't know how I remembered that. Where are all these boulders that have been crashing around? Hmm. All right, now this is another one of those trick rooms. There's one of these in every Sierra game. Look at all the pretty glittering things. You can't touch any of them. Well, wow, look how vivid. Oh, look how pretty it is. All that glitters is not gold. You know I'm being tested, so you know I can't touch any of it. I've got to be a good little thief. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I want all of it. All right. You know we got to see what happens if you do. Come on. Whoa! The slag tight, or was the slag might have shattered your dreams? Was that just luck? Or something it just so happened that when I touched it, or is this thing actually cursed that if someone touches that treasure, that a rock is programmed somehow to fall from there and crush the skull of the unwitting thief? At least now I can get through the door on the first try. And God, I don't—I really don't even know how I knew how to spell Suleiman the first time. All right, speak the name of power, um, Suleiman. Okay. All right, this time will be good. I don't think my game of tiddlywinks is that good anyway. Let's see. Oh, wow. The glow illuminates from this chamber. Uh, fills from an object high atop the strange structure before you. It is the Dark One. Avuzali bless. At the sight of the glowing object, feel irresistibly drawn forward. Their feet seem to move with the will of all their own. Great. It looks like the lost uh, uh, forest in King's Quest V. As you draw near, you see the object is the statue made of crystal. A dark, shapeless form stirs within it. The crystal's cool glow is numbing as you feel compelled to pick it up. But as you reach out, you are suddenly unable to move. Fool! Some hero you are. A pawn of the very man you sought to destroy. Next to your help, I now have that through which I can summon the greatest destructive power ever known. Iblis himself! Do you know... How long I've waited for this moment. 70 years! 70 years I have served the Dark Master while what, waiting for the stars to align. 70 years I have spent learning the magic that controls men's minds and waiting for a fool to fulfill the prophecy for me. Tonight, as the moon rises between the scorpion's claws and the devil's teeth, I shall begin the ritual that will make me the master. I will control Iblis, and thus control the world. <laughs> While you, pawn of prophecy, shall remain behind in this tomb, you shall be he who waits behind. <laughs> boda, boda, boda. Nya, 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 nya. Farewell, hero. One more for good measure. Well, great. 
Well, it appears I have unleashed uh, untold horrors upon the world, yet again. Mm, blocked it. It's gonna take me a long time to move these rocks. Well, better better start now. Even with your great strength, it would be impossible to move all these rocks. You better find another way to escape. Well, bollocks. Um, nothing. Uh, there must be something somewhere. Is there anything else on this pedestal? The feel for the area, no. Great. Well, now what? Um, well, I got I got the whole force bolt thing going for me. Let's give that a whirl. Force a bolt! Does not even budge. Great. Um, but, oh, something flashes in the darkness. What was it? It was over here. Hello? There it is. You see a, a small golden ring around the tip of a stalagmite. Is that a stalactite? I got it! Uh, you pick up the ring and read the inscription. He who waits behind. Hey, that's me! As you put it on your finger, you twist it to see its design. <gasps> Whoa! Se 75 years would give you such a crick in the neck! I mean... Oh, I may grant you three wishes. Oh, math of the ring. What is your first wish? Um, I wish to know who the fuck you are. Hello? Hello, math doll. You still have three wishes left. Uh, okay. Uh, let's find out who he is. What, what was name? Oh, I've been in the ring so long. I forget. I forgot. You can call me Genie, though. It was rumored that the Sultan of Isfahan was in love with a cow, but I guess that was some time ago, some time ago. Well, I, I was supposed to make sure Ribbles doesn't get loose, but now oh, I guess I, I gotta go help you bring him back, as the prophecy says. Ribbles was the most powerful of all Jin a thousand years ago, with a year that created a huge city here and tried to make all men bow before him. So the man slowed all the Jin to his side, and with the power turned the city into Ribbles' tomb. Then Ribbles himself was caught and bound, and then became the statue you saw here. This used to be the city that the Iblis created, but after Suleiman and I and, and the, all the other gen beat Iblis, there's some kind of tomb, I suppose. This, this, uh, oh dear, I've already told that story. Um, the prophecy may have been to become a good goblin over the years, but the original went like this when Suleiman told it to me. It, uh, oh shit! Wait, Suleiman, if this all rhymes, it's in meter. Do you think that Suleiman is actually the Emir? Drop that! Let's bring it Omar featuring little Suleiman. Uh huh. One thousand years, yeah, so it must be caught in the tombs of the city where he and I was fought. Till the moon and the we kept the twigs, the scorpion and the tree. Then comes a hero from the north and the edge of our Uh huh. That's a lot of words in a rap. I need a break from that. Need a break. Little Suleiman, hit it. Let it fall about the dog and get it to stay. You know, every good prophecy should be wrapped. Come and laugh until betrayal, and that until he who waits behind. That's me. And uh, now, how did that go? It shall rise. I'll think about a final night. I'll remember it sometime. Woo! Now, here's the part I really want to get to the wishes. Okay, now, from what I remember. Oh, look at those points, man. We're almost done. For the wishes, I think you can permanently boost your stats with this uh, with two wishes, because you get three wishes. But don't boost the third one, because the third one, it's like a, it's like a um, an Aladdin thing, because you got to use that third one to wish yourself out of here, right? Unless you cheat and become a bad boy or whatever. Okay. I can grant you three wishes by the power of the ring. You can get anything you want, as long as it's health, prowess, or celebrity can get the whiplash. Okay, great. So, health, don't care about, we got plenty of pills. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to boost our skills. So, let's go for prowess. Um, I give the ability of ten men in any skill you want. Uh, but you have to wait for strength, magic, intelligence, the sneaking, oh, you get the idea. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so let's, uh, let's make a wish. What is your wish? Okay, oh, man. Shit, we got a lot. Alright, strength, intelligence, vitality, luck. I really wish I would've looked at my, uh, my stats before I did this. Okay, wait, enough, enough, enough. 
Let's take a look at our stats. Alright, so stat-wise, what's maxed out? Agility and intelligence are pretty high. Strength we don't really have to worry about. Uh, stealth, you can grind that so easy. Um, you know, half of me says we want to boost like something like our luck or, or our communication, because those are really hard to, uh, to grind. Everything else is completely grindable. Um, parry, weapon use. You know what? I'm not going to worry about stealth. I'm going to go for the hard ones. Okay, so luck. I almost want to max out luck. What do you think? The luck and, and communication? Let's see what we can do. So let's make a wish. Um, let's do luck. I feel much more skilled. Okay, enough. Let's see what that actually did. So luck 181. That's a pretty major boost. Wow. So that was, what was my luck before? Like 131? So it raised it by what, 60 points? Damn. Alright, so let's use these wisely. So stealth, it would max me out in stealth. That would save me a lot of grinding later. Uh, no, pick locks is pretty good. Throwing, climbing, communication. You know what? I'm actually going communication. It might sound boring, but that's the way I'm rolling. So let's go communication. Alright. Alright, so make to make sure we do not wish for any more still. Yeah, communicate 161. So that raised... What was that? One, one eleven? Yeah, so sixty points. No, fifty points rather. My bad. Um, we should have healing potions. How many healing potions do we? Yeah, thirty-four. I think we'll be fine. All right. So let's see. Does that max out my uh, health? Close enough. All right. So let's, let's. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're done. So let's, let's go ahead. Let's not waste any time. Let's get out there. Teleport to Iblis. Let's get out of here. There will be no safety for anyone until Ibleth is returned, Master. We must hurry and bring him back. In the name of Suleiman, then thou the binder, binder, rather, and by my power, who you waste behind, take us to Ibleth. Yahoo! Whoop! <gasps> Ibleth isn't here at all. Wow, what do you know? It worked! My oh, magic really worked! Oh, we are now what you call Razir. This is as close to Ibleth as I could get. There are some very powerful spells coming from the palace over there. We don't have much time. What are you waiting for? Blah! There's a soft whisper from the alleyway. Hello, friend. What magic have you got at your command? Blah, blah, blah. The underground is prepared to attack the palace. If you need to enter there, we'll provide some destruction for you. However, we are almost ready, so you must hurry before you are caught in our battle. Well, thanks for that. Great. So there's like a Lay Miz thing going on. Alright, so let's save. Okay, so... So let's see. Do you hear the heroes sing? All right. Uh, where are we in a relation to everything else? Oh, we're like right here at the palace. Beautiful. That's exactly where we need to be. Good show. So let's let's go into sneak mode. And also remember, since we helped the uh, the harem uh, gal, we can uh, she'll leave a signal for us. So like, whatever. Uh, so I think she... Yeah, there it is. Uh, it's eunuch patrols, motionless guards, and things are moving a little bit too fast for my liking. Okay, good. So let's sneak over here. And they left... Oh, dear, 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 dear. Halt. Uh, oh, oh, God, a swarm of five guards. Great. Suddenly you hear the guards turn. You hear rumbling and crashing from within the pile. No, it was the loose. Oh, this must be the good ending, right? Oh, Jesus. You know, he doesn't he doesn't look so bad. You know what, and I, I kind of questioned the point of releasing this, because now everything in a Razir is dead, including out of East. Unless he had some sort of master plan. Yeah, we're all dead. So, yeah, it seems like every single one of these games has... Did your best, this wasn't good enough. It's the end of the world, as heroes know it. Great, okay. Now, let's... Uh, Let's play this a little bit more, uh, a little bit more stealthy here. So let's sneak. Okay, into the shadows. Like Garrett, my mentor. Okay, and rope, 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 rope. And is anyone else, like, super excited that they actually have announced the four? Even though it's going to be for, like, the next-gen consoles, which I'm kind of excited for. Kind of. I just really hope they don't ruin it, because Dark Shadows was... Oh, yeah, it was okay. Okay, let's go. Hurry, Matthew, you must follow me! You race through the palace passageways, pa pausing now and again to evade the scurrying guards. The genie of the ring, for all of his forgetful nature, seems to have a clear idea of where he's taking you. Through here, Master! Ibleth is close and time is short. Wait a second. 
that the people of the city are revolting, and Adam Vies has to choose this time of all times to do some kind of magical ceremony. I am ordered to guard this door when I should be out leading the troops. A box up on the head of all magicians. You have to give the orders. Let no one into the palace. If the single person gets past you, I will have your head on a platter. There's no survey, sir. Well, what are you waiting for? Why did you get to that door? Okay. Now, here's the thing, okay? I tried and tried for like half an hour because those who played the game know as a thief, you're supposed to pass through the harem where you meet uh, some characters that you run into later on. Uh, but... Here's the thing, apparently if you A, do not have the magic rope with enough charges to get you through, which I do, or enough throwing daggers, unfortunately of which I only have two, then it goes right to this antechamber and you cannot get full points and you don't get to see the awesome harem scene, which is funny as shit. So you guys are gonna have to wait on that one. I promise I will give it to you one way or another. But until then, hey, fucking end game, man. Let's do this. So now it's just me and Kaveen waiting. Now let's see. Kavin. Um, now, what would be the most thiefy way to do this? I mean, I could just fucking end him with a dagger. All right, what we're gonna have to do is slow down the game to a crawl. Maybe I can hit him that way. All right, slow down. Blah! Oh! Use the elements of surprise to your advantage. You nimbly leap on top of Kavin and dip over a fatal stab to his heart. Oh, that's cold, man. Whoa! Now through the top of the door stands, and they both some sort of spell in the door, but I don't know what it is. There's not an awful lot of magic around here. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's loot his corpse first. Hey, busy. Busy. All right. What do we got on Kaveen? At least on his feet. Uh, find a golden key to his private treasury. He must millions and millions of dinars. You're rich. Wish me on your wildest dreams. And that probably means, yes, it was his free. Yes, I know. Okay. As we know... As it's everything against you know what a thief should be. Let's slow that down to maximum. Let's do slow-mo instant replay here because that was fucking awesome. Nope. That is not the slow-mo I wanted. God damn it. Now we gotta watch my complete and utter failure in slow motion. That's torture. Come on. All right, 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 all right. All right, super slow-mo. It's gonna work this time, I know it is. Wait for him to stop, there we go. And then, whoa, Love it, love it. Okay, now, uh, unfortunately that was like my last throwing knife. So, um, we're kind of stuffed at this point. So let's into the ritual chamber we go. Now this is going to probably be a trapped door or something. I need my oh god, yes it is. So let's detrap this fucker, or just un. <laughs> okay. Hear me, O oh dark powers! Bind the darkness, light the darkness rather, and bind your bliss to me forever. God, I hope I don't mess up that incantation with my own mistakes. You think to have tried to a magical spell on that statue, master? Oh shit, am I gonna have to fight this thing? Another candle, Master! Hurry! Oh, so I gotta wait till I gotta. Alright, gotta. Alright, uh, what am I. I can't do anything! I can't. I literally cannot do shit. I can't do anything! What do you want me to do? Do something, Master! I can't! I'm stuck! I can do nothing! Wait! Oh, alright, wait, wait, wait. I, apparently, I was able to do something. Okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it, got it. Don't be mad. Jesus, this gin, this genie, just ugh. All right, all right. Here we go. Now there's no like options to like disable the trap on the door or anything. Wait a minute. All right, all right, fine. All right, so all I can really do is like I can wag I can waggle my dagger around. Ah. Uh. I can dodge. I can stab it in the crotch a lot. What am I supposed to be doing? All I can do is stab a statue in the crotch over and over again. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, maybe there's a way that we can get through the door without electrocuting ourselves. Let's let's fucking like force bolt it or something and. Okay, good. 
Find the door is locked. It won't open that easily. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so now there's a spell. Oh, I just I just hit escape to go out of combat. <laughs> okay. So, look, all he's got to do is... Literally, all I can do is knock over a candle or I can stab out of ease through the fucking heart. And... I'm a cold-blooded motherfucker, motherfucker. You're gonna die. Oh, nope. Everything just bounces off to it. Great. All right, fine. Um, let's just knock over a candle. Get it. Oh. Oh, shit. Fool, you cannot hurt me. I send thee to my death. All right, I'll throw... Um... I don't know, that's my last dagger. Okay, all right, fine. I'll just use like a fucking force bolt or something. All right, I'll use on him. Ow! This is not going well. There we go, got it. Stu, my spell is broken. You will die. Nope. Ow! What am I supposed to do now? Um, that's my last. Last dagger to save her for combat. What are you doing? All right, look. I have no choice. I'm basically gonna I'm gonna defeat the last part of the game all three ways: part thief, part wizard, and part fighter. Let's see if we just brute force our way through the fucking flames, through the fire and the flames. Here we go. Ah! No, no, master, help me! And the flames went up. We did it! Hooray! <gasps> Oh, God! Don't sneak up on me like that. Thank you, Master. Now, oh, I can think of the fact that we still will be safe for another thousand years and a year. <gasps> well, goodbye, I guess. Good oh, I know, okay. okay. I know, I remember. The real prophecy is... One thousand years, yeah, so it was begun In the tomb of the city where he and I was fun Till the moon and ass would catch the the scorpion and the drink And come to hear from the though the nature thou was weak. Yeah, prophecy! Prophesize! Let it fall by a dog and kind of seek to spare Passing through the trial by trials of water If the nail passing through a door and open Mary he is to done By the name of Suleiman, sure this will be done Couple lots to betray and let he awaits behind Seek a huge wretched empress to be out his case of fun Else he come the night and turn the dark to silver shadows And until I hear him seek the daughter's first wrong to right Yeah! So that's how you freestyle it with the prophesies in. Bye bye, Matt. It's been fun, especially the rapid part. All right. Oh, look at that. Look at that hero's smile. With the help of the slave woman, Mason, you've found the Emir Ali hiding in his bedroom. With the urging and a few sharp remarks from Mason, the Emir swore he'd restore the city. By the first light of dawn, the Emir Al Ali al Din Hassan ordered all fighting to cease and proclaimed the evil rule of Adavis and Kavin to be over. As the Emir began an incredibly dull speech, you slipped away to complete your quest. Um, okay. Uh, you stand behind the side, the cracked and dry fountain of the Vizier's Plaza with the water skin you hold. Uh, the fountain you hold in your hands, the water skin containing the water elemental that you captured so long ago in Shapir. The elemental is under your command. It's released into the fountain. Oh, look at her go. Dancing away. Oh, the fountain's going. Oh, they, they painted the town. Oh, you're so nice. And it looks just like Shapir and lost all of its personality. You stare in wonder at the powerful transformation of the plaza uh, by the magic of the water elemental. Uh, what's this down here? Oh, that's my water skin. Oh, and of course. Yeah, this magic rug again. Great. Where are we going now, guys? The Sultan personally sent me to return all of you to his palace. Hero of all ship here. Oh, woohoo! Good. I was really hoping I didn't have to walk all that way again. Oh, wow. Look at everybody. Look at this. There's like... Wow, there's some uh, there's some ass going on up there. So there's Ziza and there's uh, Hora and everybody. Uh, Thneaky feet. Thou shalt stand before the Sultan of Red Alpha Shade, my friend, forever to be judged. Judged? Have I, have I done like some kind of crime or something? Well, let anyone speak for the stranger of the North. We shall speak for Sneaky feet. Oh, 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 Kavin and uh, Shimin and Shima. Where are Shimin and Shima? Keep us at the Cutter's Tail Inn. And the cattle are driven from Azir, we journeyed in the Northland for such of a hero. We met sneak feet. God, she is stacked for a cat. Through this courage and skills, we restored the Baron Satan and Brata and banished evil Baba Yaga. Here is a hero of Spielberg. 
Each added with us back to Shapir, where he invited the elementals of earth, fire, air, and water to save our city. He is a true hero. Oh, thanks, guys. Who are these guys up here? Are they just... Oh, whatever. Oh, I'll speak for this hero from Spielberg. I shall speak for Sneaky Feet. I really hope I can keep everybody's voices straight throughout all this. Wow, sup, Aziza. I am the Enchantress Aziza. This man of his own free will went to the desert and sought the plant woman Julianar. Through his kindness and compassion, he allowed Julianar to forget the pain and suffering of her past and turn again to face life with joy. This man also found a caged beast in the desert. Though it was wicked and most foul, Sneaky Feet turned aside its wickedness and restored its humanity. Even though he was a human, he was still kind of a dick. We shall hope it may learn from the kindness of the hero. It's a guy. It's not a beast anymore. It's not longer. It's no longer an it. As, oh, hello. This man is a true hero and my love. Oh, uh, now uh, I'm like, who will speak for this man of kindness? Oh, look who it is. I shall speak for stick of it. I cannot remember her voice at all. Sorry, we're gonna have to start from scratch. Oh, your eyes. What's wrong with your eyes, Aisha? I'm so Aisha, daughter of the Emir Ali Al-Zan. In order to escape the repression of Ahom and the Razir, I asked the stranger for aid. At the risk of his own life, he helped me escape from the city. It's so much easier to understand her without that veil over her face. He is a true hero. Aww. Thanks, Aisha. Uh, who will speak for this man of courage? Grog! Oh, hey, Roger. Then let him have a voice so he might speak and stuff. What, am I supposed to do this? Why didn't I give him the dispel potion ages ago? What the fuck? Aziza, why didn't you think of this? Fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, out of this sad form into a source, I lost all hope of returning to my own form. Yet this man showed me his courage, kindness, and honor. I knew that sneaky feet would restore me. Wow. Um, and like, who will speak for this man of honor? I was like, oh, oh well, the Sultan himself is going to speak for sneaky feet, is he? This is highly unorthodox. I am Harun al Rashid, Sultan of the land of Shapir. I am the poet Omar. Tell your tales for all to hear, mm, and rapper extraordinaire. By the words which have been spoken, by the deeds which have been done, I proclaim this man a hero. Now I call this man my son. <laughs> I finally wanted a son. He looks nothing like me. Now we can forget the blonde hair. We'll dye it black. We'll get you a cool-looking turban. I'll fix up your lack of rhyming skills. Uh, oh. Good, yeah, health, eight, great. So I lost somehow one health point throughout all that. Well, this is pretty good. Uh, my magic skills went up a little bit, my pick locks, my honor went way up somehow, even though I stabbed like Kazim in the back or whatever. Uh, oh, and that's it, we're in the still of space. Congratulations, you have successfully completed Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. Your final score was 481 of 500 possible puzzle points. If you're not already done so, we encourage you to play blah 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 with different puzzle points, yada yada. In the meantime, you're already a winner! Woohoo! Yeah! Um, oh, good! Good, 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 good! So, uh, sneaky... Um, I don't know if it's like the old style, which is only get, allows you like, uh... So let's like, sneaky two. Sport! Good, your thief has been saved. Sneefeet to save. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, and I feel like I didn't get the same amount of closure as I did last time, um, like, uh, from Quest for Glory 1. Like, last time, you got to learn what happened to everybody. You know, Rakish didn't speak up for me at all. Uhura didn't speak up for me at all. But I, uh, maybe they don't do that unless you are, like, going through the fighter plotline, or most importantly, the paladin uh, plotline, because... Quest for Glory 2 is where you can become a paladin, and being a paladin in, um, actually all the rest of the games uh, is extremely useful if you are a fighting breed. Um, if you're a thief, you can't become a paladin because paladins have to be super virtuous and blah blah blah, but they get, like, flaming magical swords, they can, uh, dispel magic, like, they can sleep anywhere because nothing will approach them because they're letting off this awesome magical aura, whatever, but, 
it's okay. Normally what I do in, in Quest for Glory 3 is that I will cheat and when you import, because apparently the original Quest for Glory 2 had such a broken save system that they could not import themselves properly as a paladin, even if you made yourself a paladin in Quest for Glory 2. So now you can just import yourself as whatever the fuck you want in Quest for Glory 3. But I'm gonna do it straight up. Bam. Now, speaking of which, thank you guys at over at AGD for making this awesome remake. I was waiting so long for this to come out. Because I will admit, Quest for Glory 2, probably my least favorite game in the entire series. Um, just as far as, maybe it's just because it's, it's the most of departure. No, I take that back. You know what? Quest for Glory 5 is my least favorite of, of the series. So if I, I guess if I had to rank them, like worst to best, uh, it's Dragonfire, Quest for Glory 2, Quest for Glory 1, um, Quest for Glory 3, and then 4 being my favorite. That was a reverse order. So 3 and 4 are my absolute favorites. So these next two games are going to be great. Um, 3 does not have any voice acting, but 4 and 5 do, so that's going to be the last of my voices for a while. And thank God for that too. So now I can finally riff on some voice acting, but I remember the voice acting being actually fairly good. And so, through the mo as the moon most slowly throughout the starry sky above the mountains and the desert of Shapir, our hero bids a fond adieu to his latest set of adventures and miserable puns. Where will the road lead next? Now I realize I missed a lot of things in this one. I mean, I got I did pretty good on the thief plotline. I didn't get maximum points, so you guys still have to get to see that harem scene, but I promise I'm going to come out with some special videos or some special goodies so you can see all the stuff that got left behind from the other characters. Maybe the same thing in one, too. I'll do some, like, bonus videos for you. But wait! There's, there's more to come in the, in the thrilling saga's Quest for Glory by Lori and Cory. Yeah! Now, here's a little fun piece of trivia for you. Quest for Glory 3, I'm not sure if I ever talked about this, but Quest for Glory uh, 3 was not going to exist. At the end of Quest for Glory 2, the original game, it was Quest for Glory 3, Shadows of Darkness. So it was, oh, and hello desktop. So essentially, oh, there's such a long story to it. You know what? I'm going to leave that story there, and I'm going to pick up that story when we pick up in Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. How are we going to do this one now? I will tell you, a little spoiler, we move from, where do we start off? In uh, like Germanic country to... Arabian country and now we're going to like the African settlements. It's gonna be great and it's gonna be a horror all the time It's gonna be so full of rednecks. I love you all. Thank you so much. We'll see you in quest for glory 3. Good night